Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I have the 2024 Thor Sanctuary 19A. Here is an overview of the layout and the specifications. So let's get started. Big awning on top with an LED light strip. Running board along the bottom of the driver door and the sliding door. Opening window right here in the back. Take a look at the aggressive tire. Couple of 110 outlets back here. Moving to the rear. Backup camera above. Tow hitch below. There's even a step to help you get in that rear of the van. And there's a seven pin connection on the side. Take a look at that clearance. Backup sensors on the bumper. And let's open this up. Tule bike rack. I'm 5'4". So this goes right over my head. Okay, so storage in each of the doors, roll down bug screen, access for your cassette toilet, little storage cubby down there, a couple of 110 outlets, a 12 volt water pump switch, light switch, and spray port. All right, let's check out the driver's side. Gravity water fill right here, and it is lockable. LED light right over your gray sewer connection. Opening window above, city water fill, sewer hose storage, solar input, cable connection, 30 amp shore power opening up the driver door you can access your diesel fill step for the driver and take a look at the front light bar on top all right time to check out the inside of this rv So right here, as you open the sliding door, there's some storage. They've even included a little netting in there. Keep things in place. Okay, so let's step on in. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. Now, I don't have to duck. I'm 5'4". The TV's located right on top here. And let's check it out. So it's got an armrest, powered heated seats, three position memory. Take a look at the steering wheel controls on the left and the right. Right in front, there's a storage compartment with a lid and a drink holder. Moving to the center, covered area with a wireless phone charger, couple of USB ports. Moving to the center, there's a large infotainment center and some additional drink holders. Right below, there's a 12 volt and a USB port. Moving on to the passenger side, covered storage area with an additional drink holder and a ledge below for even more storage. Now right above the driver and passengers heads there's a ledge for storage. All right time to check out the rest of this RV. Okay so upon entry of the coach right on top you have the Truma system for your in-cabin heating and hot water, BM Pro controller right below, and a switch for some lights. 
down below, there's a couple of 110 outlets along with your master on off switch. All right, let's check out the kitchen. So it's a little kitchen area, but it looks pretty functional right off the bat. So microwave on top, small microwave, not convection. You have a decent amount of countertop space below. Sink does have a cover. Take a look. The faucet is tall and curved. However, there's no pull-out sprayer. Now, pulling open this drawer, you have a countertop extension that you can use, or you can lift that up and there's drawer space for storage right in there. Refrigerator is located right below. And take a look. It's a pretty good size. You have two shelves for storage, along with a couple of bins on the bottom. You get large freezer on top, but it does have this floppy door. And three storage areas on the door. All right, let's check out this window. Big window area, this side here opens up, has a screen in it, and a shade you can pull down for privacy. Underneath, those upper cabinets, there's some light switches that you can push on and off. Now I'm going to open up these upper cabinets. There's three of them. Let's check them out. Opens into one unit. Okay, let's take a look at this window. It has that shade that you pull down for privacy and it does not open up. Let's check out all the storage on the other side. So I'm going to open up all three of these cabinets on the passenger side. So the two over there open up into one unit. The one over here has two USB ports. And over here, there's a cable input, a couple of 110 outlets, and an HDMI. A couple of lights that you can push on and off when needed. Opening window with the screen in it shade that you can pull down for privacy. Now, this model has two sofas opposing each other, so you can sit, have a conversation. Nice swiveling table that swivels around. So there's another table mount here in the center of these two sofas. And you can use this area for eating, or you can use it as a work area. There's a couple of USB ports right there on the side. The sofa on the passenger side has some storage underneath. Let me show you. Now I'm going to show you how to make these two sofas into one large bed. So you can start by pulling this right across. and securing it on those brackets. Kind of have to step into the bathroom to get this side. Pull that right across and make sure it's securely in place. Now it's just a matter of grabbing those backrests. Has that hard backing and you fill in the center. here. Okay, and there's your big bed. So now it's been made into one big bed, so let's give it a try. So I'm going to start off by seeing the amount of space this way. And you know what? I fit. I'm 5'4". There's actually room for three people like this. And this way, look at all the room in here. There still might be room for three people, a couple, a young child. And yeah, lots of room. All right, so I'm going to put it back into two twin beds or two sofas. I'm going to pull these up. And then put these rails right on over. 
taking us back to two twin sofas. These two sofas can be used as two twin beds. So you can use these wedged backrests for your headboards and put those two backrests aside. And now let's give it a try. You can sit up and read I like that. Let's see what it's like when I'm laying down. I'm 5'4", and this is my room on this side. So you do have this in the way for the driver's side twin bed, and this is the passenger side. A little bit more room. Still not bad at all. Now let's check out the bathroom located in the rear of the coach. Okay, I'm going to step in and show you around. First off, I'm going to show you that these doors just slide right across and stay in place with a magnet when you're on the go. And they are secured in place with this bungee. All right, let's start over here. So there's a mirror on the medicine cabinet. Open that up and show you inside. There's a shelf in there. Shower head has a switch to start and stop the water flow and has some adjustments. Switch for your light and your fan right here on the side. Flip down sink with a swing away faucet. Swiveling cassette toilet. Now right across is the wardrobe. So there's a hanging rod in there. There are no shelves. Toilet paper holder is located in there. And take a look at the drawers below. Now to use this shower, you just pull the shower curtain right across in that U shape and it keeps these cabinets nice and dry. All right, so that wraps it up for this tour of the 2024 Thor Sanctuary 19A. So I love the, the twin beds. You don't even have to really make your bed. You can just go right to sleep without even putting anything together. Love the big rear bath. And of course, all the upper storage cabinets, lots of storage. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos. Bye for now.